Road networks are a key element for the economic growth of every country. Simply getting people connected via good and reliable roads can bring significant enhancement in the quality of life for residents. The construction of the Happy Hill By Road in the parish of St. George, Grenada has brought many benefits for the residents in its vicinity. Through the Basic Needs Trust Fund program and the Caribbean Development Bank, in collaboration with the Government of Grenada, a project was undertaken in 2020 to fix a badly deteriorated road, which had become a dangerous hazard to road users. It didn't have a road. It was just pure bush, well covered up with bush and things, so, so we could not have passed through here again. Well, when it's raining, you know, it's mud, it's muddy, it's muddy. the road muddy. I try and I cut ahead to it to come right across, and I had to ease up the water from coming down. Parents used to have to jockey their children, put them on the shoulders, the bigger children and parents. On their way to and from school, on their way to and from work, they used to have to walk with two pairs of shoes, one to traverse the muddy area, and then when they reach down by the road, another one to go about their business. The people living at the back, like Miss Samuels, for instance, they used to have to walk through people's yard to gain access to the public road. To resolve the serious problems encountered by residents due to the inaccessibility of the road, the Boucherjou Multipurpose Complex Management Committee sought to receive assistance. Under the BNTF program, a brand new road was constructed and even included some bonus features for the 550 beneficiaries in the community. The Happy Hill Barrow project uh, entailed the uh, construction of approximately 1,400 feet of concrete pavement, inclusive of side drains and former bog drains, and also retaining walls. The road would have been designed and super elevated to one side to ensure whatever water falls on the pavement is channeled correctly into the side drains. We had construction of steps and driveways so the residents could access their property and outside the original scope of works we had to do some soil stabilization so we had to construct rock armor in areas that were prone to landslides and we planted razor grass and glorified on the embankment slopes to protect from erosion. We had a lot of clearing and excavation to do because this was pretty much a mountainside. The most difficult part would be the early excavation because this area had a lot of rocks. We had to demolish and excavate almost 6,500 tons of rock before we could actually get to the levels we wanted. Plus we're doing it in, we finished in the rain season so certain times trucks couldn't come inside. We were impacted by delays due to the COVID shutdown, delays due to inclement weather and working in a particular terrain. But once these things were passed and we got a hold of it, the contractor worked speedily to finish the road. With all projects that are funded by BNTF, we always urge and we also strive to get a contractor involved to have persons from the community involved at all levels. In the case of Happy by Road that was done, you had laborers and also masons, etc. And also our women fund work on the project as well. So it wasn't just a male-dominated project. All our projects involve a what we call a maintenance plan. Periodically, there should be inspections done on the road. There should be periodic cleaning of the drains, periodic crack repairs. What I must mention also is that built into all our projects is where we have a defects liability period. So upon one year after the completion of the project, the contractor is held liable to, rem to remedy any defects that will pop up. So that is also ties into maintenance. Past that one year, the responsibility goes on to the respective Ministry of Infrastructure and Development. It's a great benefit, you know, we go into church every morning. Now, even if you're late, I just run across. Instead, I have to go down, go up, go down again. You know, I just rush out here and I just, in no time, two minutes, three minutes, I reach in my church. Turn the road, I mean, you, you're in a problem. So the road is good and I uh, thank the government 100%. Now this over 1,100 feet of concrete strip has benefited the residents of this area profoundly and in a very, very positive manner. Whether it's rain or sun, we can traverse the area. In addition to this, in former times, we never used to have vehicles. We have vehicles coming through. Most of the essential services can now access this area. Fire engines can now come up. Ambulance, persons, are better able to access the land. 
persons are able now to think about constructing, constructing little boots and so on to engage themselves in a little bit of small business. I must express thanks to BNTF and all the major players involved. We can't say enough thank you for ensuring that we have what we have here today. The purpose of the road is to help alleviate the burdens of the villagers in the area to get it to and from their homes and also it improving the overall infrastructure within the country. In my opinion, I think it was successful. What we designed was implemented and in some cases it actually went far beyond what was required in providing accesses or the type of accesses that will be provided to some residents. The Basic Needs Trust Fund is a poverty reduction program of the Caribbean Development Bank. Its objective is to be a community development program that supports education, water and sanitation, community access and the drainage, and economic activities through skills training, organizational development, infrastructure, and services.